Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Myself and Sendam Larasi, working as assistant professor in uh, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we will uh, go uh, going to see a short topic on uh, deterministic finite automata. So first of all, what is meant by finite automata? So finite automata is the simplest model of a computing device. So here the finite automata are used to recognize the patterns and here it accepts a regular language. So for a single input, it will be moving from one state to another state. It can be a same state or it can move to the another state. That only will be calling as a transition. So here the input what we are giving, that input if it is satisfied means it will be moving to the final state. So this is meant by finite automata. So where and all we are using. So what is the application of finite automata? So it is used in compiler, text processing and hardware design. Next, what are the types of automata we having? So we having two types of automata. One is deterministic finite automata, shortly we are calling as DFA and non-deterministic finite automata, shortly we are calling as a NFA. So here, what is the major difference between our DFA and NFA? So here in DFA, for a single input A, it is moving from one state to another state. But here in NFA, for single input, it is moving to multiple state. So it is a major difference between DFA and then NFA. So here, what is meant by deterministic finite automata? So here, the only one path for a specific input from a current state to the next state. Okay, so which means if I am giving one input, it will be moving from one state to another state only. It will not move to multiple state. And here like in NFA, here no epsilon moves will be there. So and here it is used in lexical analysis phases in compiler. So here for every state, all input symbols and all transition must be specified. For example, if I am having two input symbols like A, B means for single state Q0. From Q0, if A is the input where it is moving. From Q0, B is the input where it is moving. So for all the input for single state where it is moving, that should be covered in DFA. And there can be multiple final state but only one single initial state. And we need to try to draw a minimum DFA which means I need to draw a minimum number of states I need to have. And I can list out all my possible and impossible strings over here. Here we having a 5 tuples. So finite automaton is a collection of 5 tuples where we will be having like Q, Sigma, Q, Sigma, Q0, F and then delta which is present over there okay so what is meant by q q is nothing but the finite set of states so how many states i am having that i need to mention in q next our sigma so sigma is nothing but my alphabet that is my input symbol for example if i am having a b or 0 1 that i need to give under this sigma next q naught from where it is starting so that initial state I need to mention that is our Q0. Next I need to write the final set of state. So I will be having more st states that I need to maintain in our F. Delta transition function. What is meant by transition I told previously if I am giving one input from where and where it is moving. So that we are calling as a transition that I am providing inside our transition function. So that is mentioned using the symbol delta. So now we will see how to construct our DFA. So we are going to see certain problems over here. So here they are asking construct DFA to accept strings of A's and B's having a substring AA. Meaning is what? I am having the input A and B but in my single word I need to have AA. Okay. So that AA can be a part. Only AA I can have or more than two A's I can have or I can have in the combination of B's. So that only I have written in my word. So it can be AA or more than 2A like AAA or uh, four A's like that it goes on and one single B and then two A's or it will start with 2A and then B like that it goes on. So now I need to draw my DFA state diagram or DFA transition diagram. So I am starting with Q0. So here as I said in my question AA is compulsory from Q0 to A means it is moving to Q1 
again from q1 to a means it is moving to q2. So, this part is compulsory, but I said in DFA for each state all my inputs I need to cover. So, q0 to a means it is moving to q1 ok, from q0 to b means where it need to move I need to decide that. So, here b means if I am putting again b means what happens from q0 to q1 what happens and I will not get this a a substring. So, what I am doing means I am putting this as my self loop. If I am putting this as my self loop q0 when b as an input again it is moving to q0. So, just take this word b a a. So, I am getting this word possible string b a a over here. So, I can take this. So, for q0 a means q1, q0 b means again q0. So, it is over. Next, I am going to q1. So, here q1 when a is a input it is moving to q2. But b is a input means again I cannot put over there. So, what I am doing means again I am just putting like q1 to q0 is b. Now, check it b a a ok. So, b a a so I can have here. So, this is also accepted. Next to q2. So, q2 when a and b as a input means where I need to give where I need to go. So, here a a is compulsory. So, again a means it is moving to q2 again b means it is moving to q2. So, this is my entire DFA transition diagram. So, based on this I am going to write that tuples, 5 tuples. Previously I told no. So, m equal to q comma sigma comma q naught comma delta comma f. So, first I told you q. So, q is what? It is a set of states. So, how many states I am having? q naught, q 1, q 2. So, that one I am writing here under q. Next is sigma. How many inputs I am having a and then b? So, that I am writing here like a and b. Sigma equal to a and then b. So, q naught is the my initial state that is my starting state which is my starting state here q naught. So, I am writing here like q naught. Next which is my final state q 2. How I need to mention my final state? I need to put what na? 2 rounds which means the final state. So, f equal to q 2. Next all my transition function I need to write ok. So, how I need to write the transition function delta of what is my state comma what is my input. Okay. So, here delta of what is my first state q naught. q naught when I am giving the input a it is moving to q 1. Again delta of q naught when the input b it is moving to q naught. Again first taking q 1. So, q 1 when the input a means it is moving to q 2 that one I am writing here like delta of q 1 comma a equal to q 2. Next again q 1 b means it is moving to q naught. So, that I am writing like what delta of q1 comma b equal to q0. So, next we need to consider this q2. So, q2 delta of q2 comma a means it is moving as a self loop to q2. Again delta of q2 comma b means again it is moving as a self loop to q2. So, for that one I am writing delta of q2 comma b equal to q2 I am just putting that as my self loop. So, 2 input at the same time to a q2. So, only I am writing like a comma b. So, this is how we need to construct our DFA. So, first we need to draw our transition diagram. Next based on that we need to have this write all this 5 tuples ok. It is very very important question. So, my second question is what now construct DFA to accept string of a's and b's having exactly one a. The meaning is what now I need to have only single a in my particular word ok, not more than one a. So, here see single a and then one single a and then b or it can start with b and then one a ok. So, like that it goes on. So, I can have any number of b's but only one a is must and if b is not there also no issues but one a is must. So, according to that I have written my words. Now, I need to draw my transition diagram. So, how I am drawing my transition diagram? So, starting with q naught. So, when q naught a is a input. So, what is must I told you exactly only 1 a. So, 1 a if it is there it will be reaching my final state. Then only I am just putting the 2 rounds. So, this 2 thing is must q naught q 1 that a that is must. 
Next, I need to think from Q0 if it is B means where it is moving. If again, if I am putting now, that will disturb my question. My answer will be wrong. So, how I need to construct when it is B means again, it will be moving to the same state Q0. Okay, so this is over. So, here, so B A, it is there in my word. It is a possible string, so I can accept. Next, Q1. So, Q1, if I, again A, na, it will become 2 A but it will be moving to the error state or trap state we will be telling that ok. So, but we should not consider that because it will disturb my question. So, only one A is accepted. So, again another A it will be moving to the error state. But after one A B is accepted. So, Q1 la again B na it is moving towards a self loop. So, considering this error state again A and B means it will be moving to the same error state. Okay. So, based on this DFA transition diagram, I need to write my all my phi tuples. All my phi tuples means what are the things? M equal to Q comma, sigma comma, Q naught comma, delta comma, F. So, Q. So, what are the set of states? I should not take this error state. So, only Q naught, Q1. So, I am writing that. Next is sigma. What is my input here? Here my input is A and then B. So, I am writing sigma equal to A and B. What will be my starting state? Always my starting state will be only one state that is my initial state that is Q naught. Next F, what is my final state? So, here I have put two round now, this is my final state. So, F equal to Q1. So, then I need to write all my transition function. How I need to write my transition function using delta? Delta of states comma input. So, what is my state? Q naught. So, delta of Q naught comma A, where it is moving Q1. So, that only I am writing delta of Q naught comma A equal to Q1. Next again delta of Q naught comma B means where it is moving Q naught. So, delta of Q naught comma B equal to Q naught. Okay, fine. So, this Q naught state is over. Next we are considering our Q1 state. So, Q1 comma A means it is moving to the error state. So, it is, it should not consider this. So, we need to write as null or you can use a symbol pi. Okay. Next from Q1 to B means it is moving to Q1, ok. So, this is the transition diagram and all this phi tuples with the transition function for this single question. Our third question is construct DFA to accept strings of A's and B's with at least one A. What is meant by in previous question we saw like exactly one A, exactly one A means only one A I need to have. But here at least one A meaning is what now? 1 a or more than 1 a I can have in my word. So, how I will be writing my words only single a or 2 a's or a b in the combination of a's and b's ok like a b b a or b b a. So, like that it goes on. So, in my question exactly they have told like what now at least 1 a. So, I can have 1 a or more than 1 a ok. So, here based on this I need to draw my state diagram. So, how I will be drawing my state diagram? So, here at least 1 A na I need to have at least 1 A ok. So, Q naught to Q 1. So, 1 A. So, this is my starting state, initial state starting from Q naught when A as a input it is moving to Q 1 which is my final state that I will be mentioning with my two rounds ok. So, Q naught A as a input Q 1 ok fine. If B input means where it will go, it will be moving to Q naught. Now see my word B A. So that is also accepted B A. I am having one A over there. So it is also possible string only. So Q naught state for Q naught A as a input and Q naught B as a input over. Next Q1. So Q1 A as a input means I am putting as a self loop to Q1, B as a input again to Q1. So that is A comma B. So, see here my words A, A also correct here in my word possible string A, A or A, B also correct. So, this DFA state diagram is completed. Next, I need to write all my tuples. M equal to Q comma, sigma comma, Q naught comma, delta comma, A. You can give A or F whatever the thing, ok. So, Q equal to what are the states I am having? Q naught, Q1. I am writing here Q equal to Q naught, Q1. Sigma, what are the alphabets I am having here? A and B. So, A, B. Q naught again the initial state Q naught. 
okay. So, here you can mention A or F, okay. So, according to that you need to change over there also. So, F equal to Q1 which is my final state Q1. So, all my delta transition function I need to write here. So, delta of Q0 comma when A as a input Q1. So, delta of Q0 comma A equal to Q1. Delta of Q0 comma B equal to Q0. Delta of Q1 comma A is Q1. Delta of Q1 comma B is Q1. So, that one is written over here. So, this is about our third question. So, our fourth question is construct DFA to accept strings of zeros and ones with substring 0, 1. So, in previous first question we saw like AA, okay, but here in combination of 0 and 1. So, in my single string I need to have 0, 1. So, before and after you can have any zeros or any one or single word only 0 and 1 also accepted. So, like that I am just writing all my strings over here 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 like that it goes on. So, based on this possible string I need to draw my DFA state diagram. So, how I will be drawing my uh, state diagram? So, here they are mentioned in my question 0, 1. So, Q0 0 means it is moving to Q1. Q1 1 means it is moving to Q2 which is my final state. So, Q0 0 Q1 over Then again Q0 1 means where it needs to move I need to think. So, 1 means I again it is as a self loop to Q0. Now see 1 0 1. So, 1 0 1 it is also 0 1 I am having as a substring so it is accepted. Next coming to this Q1. So, Q1 1 means Q2 that is over 0 means it is coming to the Q1. So, now see 0, 0, 1. 0, 1 I am having as a substring. So, this also correct. So, next Q2 coming to Q2. 0, 1 means again it is moving to the Q2 only. So, based on this for all the states, for all the input the transition is available. Okay. So, now I need to draw with my, I need to write with my tuples. So, Q, how many states Q1? Q0, Q1, Q2, I am writing there. Sigma equal to how many inputs? 0, 1. So, sigma equal to 0, 1. What is my initial starting state? Q0. So, Q0. What is my final state? Q2. So, F equal to Q2. Next, all my transition function. Delta of Q0, 0, Q1. Delta of Q0, 1, Q0. Delta of Q1, 0, Q1. Delta of Q1, 1, Q2. Delta of Q2, 0, Q2. Delta of Q2, 1, again Q2. Okay. So, this is the thing for my question number 4. Okay. You need to draw the transition diagram along with my 5 tuples. Okay. So, we saw the deterministic finite automata definition and all how to construct the DFA we saw in our video. Okay. Thank you.